I want to come at this video from a bit of a different perspective, a bit, a bit of a different lens, okay? So, videos on physical attractiveness, how to become physically attractive. There's plenty of them on the internet already. So, if I came on here and just said, hey guys, to, you know, to, get, to become attractive, you know, get a haircut, build some muscle, you know, brush your teeth twice a day. It's just, you know, everyone's done it already at this point. So, coming at that video from that lens, I just didn't feel would be the right way to go about it and not really bring any value. So, what I'm going to do instead, mate, is tell you about the mindset, the mentality, and just the cold, hard truth of what it takes to be attractive. And simply put, being attractive and becoming an attractive man is the direct result of a number of habits done again and again and again on a consistent basis over a long period of time. So, you know, if I told you to become more attractive, get a haircut, but then you get one haircut and, you don't, and then you don't go again, well, then that's, gonna, that's not going to last. That would be like a temporary increase in your attractiveness levels, but it's not going to be a long-term solution, is it? Likewise, if I said, you know, to become more attractive, you've got to become more muscular. Becoming a muscular, getting jacked is a very long process. It requires going to the gym on a consistent basis for years, right? Years to get the body that you really want, to get, you know, a super attractive body. Or, you know... If I said to become more attractive, brush your teeth. Well, first of all, it's pretty obvious, but again, that's a daily habit that needs to be done. So what you might start to realize, like I say, from the start of the video, is that becoming an attractive man is all to do with habit. And even like the, you know, the physical stuff aside, if you want to become an overly attractive man, like you know, maximize your SMV as much as you can, Things that fall into that bracket would be becoming rich and successful, right? becoming financially free. And again, you don't just wake up one day and decide to be financially free. It is a journey, a process that takes many, many years. And again, every single day you'll be turning up and doing the work on a consistent basis. And only after a long period of time of doing that work consistently, will he get results and finally become financially free and finally tick that box and finally increase that SMV of yours. So, as you can see, becoming attractive, it is simply about doing good habits on a consistent basis for a long period of time. So I think that's more valuable when it comes to discussing physical attractiveness and how to become attractive. I think having that mindset and being aware that that's a mindset that's needed is so much more valuable than just me coming on and saying, you know, brush your teeth, get a haircut, eat less, you know, junk food. Because if you can adopt this mindset and you, you're aware that, you know, to truly become an attractive man, it is not an overnight thing. It is a dedicated process over, you know, many years. If you realize that and you have the mindset where you accept that, that's gonna make you, you know, that's gonna make you attractive. That's gonna ultimately make you an attractive man. Secondly, you have to like really care about this, right? If you wanna be an attractive man, you have to really care about becoming that attractive man. So again, let's go back to the example of building muscle to become more attractive. Right, I've built a great body, right? I've built a terrific body where most people that I meet, I am more muscular, more aesthetic than them. And therefore, it, it, at least in terms of musculature and you know, body aesthetics, I am more attractive in that area than most people that I come, in, that I come into contact with. But to achieve that, I took fitness super seriously 
for like seven years. Well, maybe not seven because at the start I wasn't training, you know, optimally. But let's say, you know, five years. Five years of taking fitness seriously. During that period of time, fitness was like my number one passion. It was the thing that I cared about the most. And because I cared about it so much, I put the time into not only being in the gym and do the workouts, but also on the side of that, watch videos, read articles, read books, and find out more about exercise science, how to train optimally, how to you know, base your whole life around you know, that core goal. Not obviously to you know, make the gym take over your life, obviously you know, still wanna have fun, but you know, this habit will severely impact your gains, right? So probably avoid that. And this is gonna really help you gain, so you know, do more of that. And how often to go to the gym and you know, what to do in the gym, the splits to do, the foods to eat, all this, all this stuff, like I researched, I read about, I watched about. It was a big passion of mine. I took it incredibly seriously. And that's why I have the body that I have. And that's why I have the body that I have today. I would not have achieved that body if I took fitness half-heartedly. If I went once or twice a week and worked out, right? There's a key distinguishment between training and working out, right? If you work out, you go to the gym, you do a few exercises that you just think of on the whim, on the day, you know, like, oh, I feel like doing some bicep curls, I'll do some of those. You know, well, let's do some lateral delts as well, why not, right? That's working out. But if you truly train, you have a structured, regimented program, you track your lifts, you track your progression, you make sure that every single week you are progressively overloading. That's taking fitness seriously. And that's when you get the results. So you have to adopt that mindset and incorporate that mindset into all aspects of improving yourself. And becoming more attractive, right? If you, know, you, want, you want a more attractive face, you want clearer skin, take that shit seriously. Make sure, first of all, that you have that habit. Again, go back to the, to the first point you realize that it's a habit. So every day you're looking after your skin, you're washing your face with cleanser twice a day, you're moisturizing twice a day. You eat healthily so that there's not excess fat in your body that you know, comes through in pores, blackheads, whiteheads. You drink a lot of water to clear your skin. See, there's so many things that go into all this. It's a whole lifestyle. Becoming an attractive man is a whole lifestyle. And that's why I got to take it seriously because if you want to become more attractive, again, let's go back to the clear skin example. And you're drinking alcohol all the time, you're eating junk food, you're not sleeping enough. Do you seriously think that you'll have clear skin? Do you really think you'll have that glow on your skin, that healthy glow, that clear skin that you want? No, because your lifestyle doesn't align to your goals. So that's the key thing, mate. Like, look, all the other stuff, you know, like, like I said, like brush your teeth twice a day, you know, get a haircut and stuff, you know. There's so many videos about that that there's no point making another one. But the mindset, the mentality to have to become more attractive is so valuable, so crucial. Realise that it's not an overnight process. Realise that becoming an attractive man is, like I say, built upon good habits performed consistently on a long-term basis. And take it seriously. Base your whole life around becoming more attractive. And again, that's not a bad thing because if you're basing your whole life around being attractive, you're gonna naturally do things that are gonna make you more attractive. You're gonna you know, go out of your comfort zone to build more social confidence, to become a more charismatic and outgoing guy that's gonna make you more socially attractive. You're gonna look after your health better, you're gonna exercise, you're gonna eat cleaner, you're gonna drink more water so that you lose body fat, you build muscle, you have clearer, you know, brighter skin. All these things are positive, but you have to take it seriously. Otherwise, if you half-arse it, you'll simply get half-arse results.